So government, will, uh, somebody will be wanted by the government. He has committed a crime. A public institution will now issue warrant that don't arrest him. Imagine if that court had not been privatized by the judge. What part of law is that? To pass judgment that somebody should not be arrested. Then now another court can't say, okay, this person must be arrested. See, now even the police cannot arrest the person. To, eh, oh, Arao, ni tonle ala rao. Ato si gbe mi ide, gege bi ishe iti wa. Iti mo wak be de yi, oro to ni ishe, pe lunto on shele, la wang ak bigbe. Ache la wang fule konkoni. Bo ba ti ya yi, aro yenu de meko lewe ekbo, eja lo gboro. Lenu a wanto ni ishe le yi. Baba wak padade, kate si waju, lori eto. That's why the people, ji, that time is over. You betray the people, ancestors will hammer you now. Bim ni, i bim ni. You betray the people, uh, the ancestors are back. I've told you people, I don't tell you Natalia for this life. Ancestors are back. I've told you people this. The ancestors are back. So if you do anyhow, you know go tell before you see anyhow. Our courts have been privatized. I say our courts, the judges have privatized the courts. The judges have privatized the courts. So government, will, uh, somebody will be wanted by the government. He has committed a crime. A public institution will now issue warrant that don't arrest him. Imagine if that court had not been privatized by the judge. What part of law is that? To pass judgment that somebody should not be arrested. Then now another court can say, okay, this person must be arrested. See, now even the police cannot arrest the person. The governor of the state that is that the AFCC is saying was robbed. The people of that state are the ones the governor they represent. Now that governor, which is supposed to represent the people of the state with the thief that kind of money from, is using the office of that state to protect the governor from being the former governor from being arrested. Do you understand the depth of the privatization of these institutions? That people can go into these places and remove billions and nobody will see anything for the years because they don't they thief 80 billion at once. It is not once they steal that kind of money. EFCC did not know. They cannot tell us that. They just found out that um, after I left office. The right attitude of our security operatives, our security agency, is to be making noise every day. So that by the time the person is even leaving office, the wala and the noise will be so much, everybody will know, say, as they sign, it they go J. But no, they don't say anything. Everything will be quiet. They will just start to ask him one day, hey, we we'll investigate the for overnight. Okay, now that the judge have lifted the, this thing, where is the arrest? Where is the manhunt? Do you see them looking for him all over the place? Is he on the news constantly that he's wanted? The privatization of our public institutions is mad. It's a mad thing. Why am I doing this live today? Because I realize talking to a lot of people, I just say my people, instead of losing faith in these people, they lose faith in the institutions. And that is what these people actually want. That's their goal. All these our oppressors, what they want, their goal, their ambition, they say make we lose interest in this hour institutions so we must not let them win we must not let them win our country is an amazing place it has the potential to create hundreds of millions of great african people nigeria has the potential to create hundreds of millions of great African people. But I think the problem is that African people don't know that Africa can exist without African people. The way America today is existing without Native Americans. Look at America. They don't develop them. Um, put bridge, tunnel, everything, airports without the Native American people. Other people have developed it because the Native American people do it in the Goka. 
and we are also in that position now. We don't think we can get there, but we are going there slowly. First of all, many of us living here that are black are not Africans. There's nothing about us that is African. So already the genocide of Africans mentally has already happened successfully. The mental genocide of Africans have already successfully taken place. Now people like me, they shout to try to resuscitate. Very few people are Africans in Africa. And after the mental annihilation, the mental genocide, what comes next is the physical genocide. Please, if you think I'm lying, check your history. Read about the Cherokee tribes. Go and read about the Trail of Tears. Go to Wikipedia, put uh, Google, put Trail of Tears. Read about the Cherokee. Read about that. Because now, so them two things say that the Europeans, they were with the Europeans to fight the other Native Americans, killing their brothers and sisters. Europeans were hailing them that they were the civilized natives, the civilized tribes. Those are you African professionals today, the civilized blacks, the professional, the cool blacks that think, eh, so far I have money, so far I've gone to school, so far this, I've built my house. Eh, capitalism will protect me. Eh, Europeans will respect me. That's how those... I say, go and if you don't read, you'll never know the plan. They too thought that they were going to be white. Eh, they were living the old Central Park or their land before all those places. I mean, Boston, all those. Go and read. When they don't finish all their... This, when only they can't day, when they can't day, they were a minority among the majority of whites. They collect everything, pursue them to barren land. The trail of tears. Go and read about it. Please read about the trail of tears. And that's where we are. The very mental don't happen. What is going to happen next? The next phase we are in is the physical. Trust me. And all Africa, they're in the position, they're in the start Sudan, Somalia, Nigeria, everywhere has violence in Africa. Morocco, Egypt. Libya, everywhere is destabilized. The only place not destabilized is South Africa, where they did. They never start any, they don't agree any terrorists <laughs> to go South Africa. No South Africa are terrorists. But everywhere else, Kenya, Ghana, Senegal, Mali, Nigeria, eh, Sudan, Libya, Egypt, eh, Tanzania, everywhere, Uganda, eh, DRC, Everywhere, violence, violence, war, everything happening already. Me could not continue to the look. Oh, no worry. You think that these things are just happening coincidentally? The whole of Africa is just simultaneously just being like that. Okay. Mona, no worry. Make no worry. To, Emma Cabo, but when you know, you let them bad one way to what other damage you pay. Hmm. Oh, it's a way. Eti di koko ba mounwe. E ma je kin she wa la ju. Nto di pe e mi mwen ipe yon lo bon lo olo ye. Ba ju mwen yon le yon te wan le ten wan weto wa. E sha ma ba wa shaso wo. Ba she mwa foun yi. Le le ye yo. Titi wa di ba mi. Ta ton joba fojou nji lo di koni wo ti vi. Pe lo a kotun e to. Bangkok bi mi. E ti mwen mi. Ki mwen wule daru kwara mi mwen. E mi lo mwen kwara bo. E yin no e ma ko lo di koni wo ti vi. A me ma ba mi like. E ma share ke de ma subscribe. Titi wa di ba enko. Ireu.